What's up everyone, it's FG for Fisher Lunkers. Welcome back to the channel. Whew, 2020 is finally over and we have finally arrived in 2021. Now, it's a little bit late for me. I've been quite busy uh, with work and also personal life. Now, with that going forward, I'm excited. Uh, we finally reached over 500 subscribers. We are a little bit over 700 subscribers. So we're gonna be aiming for over a thousand subscribers by this year, soon enough, and hopefully we can keep it going, right? Now, before we even go on, I wanna thank everybody who has emailed me, who has been contacting me, private messaging me on Facebook, Instagram, because we did sell out of our Fish and Lunkers hat, and it sold out quick. It sold out in less than an hour. Um, now, I've made another order, and as you can see, this is a, one of the hats that I did have. So this is actually one of the hot sellers. Uh, California Fishing, right? So as you can see, this doesn't have the Fisher Lunkers logo, but the other hats do. And the, the hats sold out quicker than I imagined. I wanna thank everybody. My messages blew up uh, with the orders, and anybody who's been emailing me wanted to actually make more orders. But you know what, we are sold out. So the company that does make my hats, he does make a good quality hats and it does take a little bit of time for it to get the hats to get here. Now the new hats are gonna be arriving soon in early spring. And now get your orders in. Email me at fisherlunkers247 at gmail.com. Now these are the colors I do have. Um, there's several colors and once they do arrive, I will do a video and I'll let you guys know if I have any hats left or if you want to continue to make a hat, and see if I have any available colors, I'll let you know. Um, I wanna thank everybody who's been supporting me and I wanna give that back. So with that being said, in 2021, we're gonna start off something great. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and starting off 2021. I'm gonna be throwing out some baits, I'm gonna be throwing out uh, a couple decals and also definitely a hat of your choice. Now, comment below, all right? If you wanna be entered in the giveaway, comment below what you are grateful in 2020, despite what has happened. And doesn't matter, fishing stories, personal stories, anything that you have that you feel like you would like to share, it is gonna be seen on the comment section, but just say something very broad, general, of what you're grateful for. You know, family, friends, fishing, hunting, um, any sports activities, uh, loss of weight, or you know, you've done something in your life that you know you are grateful for, you've been giving back. Um, but yeah, you know what? Hopefully you can share a story with us, and you know what, I will randomly choose a winner, okay? Uh, I wanna make it fair to everybody. Everybody has great stories, but I wanna make it fair to everybody. And I would be also giving my feedback. I haven't been fishing for the last month, um, been quite busy, but you know what? I have done other things just to keep myself busy at home. You know, just going through all my, you know, organizing all of my fishing tackles and equipment, getting it ready, getting my boat ready. Got some new electronics I'm excited to use on there as well. I think I'm gonna kick it off with this year, either do some more dino fishing, which is sturgeon fishing, or I will be doing trout fishing i'm excited for that because i usually don't ever ever like your fish and you know what when i was younger one of my favorite fishes to fish was bluegill you know right oh man i had a blast yeah. and you know we used to cut the trees in the back the bamboo trees in the back in the asian gardens cut the you know the bamboos time on the fishing line a small bobber and that was i had a blast started you know doing that when i was younger as a kid and my uncles and my dad would always take us out just to fish for bluegills and we had a blast and you know we were talking about size we were just catching fish overall Man, there was nothing like that. Before we do go talk about 2021, of course we can't forget what we did in 2020. I wanna do a, just a quick year end recap of my fishing expeditions in 2020 or what I did catch for the first time or any of the bigger fish that I've caught. You know, we were all scrambling around trying to find places to fish. I stuck in my backyard fishing in the California Delta. You know, it started off, you know, real good, you know, in the springtime, caught a whole bunch of stripers, you know, didn't catch anything big, didn't break any records. Uh, but then, my, you know, my cousin did catch um, his 30 pound striper off the Spate Sanity Antidote. Spring is right around the corner. And we are going into February, right? Now, once it's March and April, I would say, get ready. These strappers are gonna be feeding. They're gonna be going back home. They're gonna be strappers coming in to spawn in the Delta. The best time to fish for strappers, you don't get a lot of quantity, but you do get more quality fish. And you know what? I'm excited. Let's look forward to it. And as we go on, I have a special announcement not in this video, but my next video. Now going back into, you know, uh, the rest of the year, in the summertime, you know what? I caught my biggest halibut. Now, yes, I did break my record, all right? It was at uh, 33 and a half inches at 14 pounds. Now, that might not seem heavy. It might not be big to some individuals compared to the bigger halibut they catch. But for me, hey, it's not always about competing against others. And of course, I did not catch it on bait. Caught it on swim bait and a one and a half pounds jig head. Caught it at Tamales Bay. We'll be uploading that video as well. You will see it in the video of catching that fish. Maybe not during the catch, but 
you know, when they did catch it, take it home and they cook it. Going on to the next species, man, you know what? We skunked for this, you know, this particular fish and this sucked. We were on about five trips, had no luck and uh, I practically gave up, you know what? Um, you know, I spent a lot of hours, a lot of time in that, you know, in the mornings going out there, but you know, you have to be versatile. You have to be able, willing to adjust to catch this species. And I will say that is the king salmon. And we did not do good. We sucked. All right. We didn't catch smack. All right. Uh, we caught a lot of some stripers, caught other species of fish, fish or salmon, but we didn't catch any salmon at all. So what I did do was even though despite not catching the salmon, I did not give up. I went straight to the Walmart market and went to Sunfish Corporation in uh, Sacramento and wanted to buy me some sushi grade salmon at $12 a pound. You can't beat that. So you know what, I took it home, made some sushi, made some sashimi. That, that was great enough, you know, it didn't matter to me at that point, you know what? I wanted to continue to do some salmon fishing, but it was taking too much of my time and you know, I spent over a month on it. I gave up, you know, I just didn't have the hours, the amount of trips to get on there as I like. Uh, because you know what I had to travel to there and I could have hit a guide up or here's some of my guys up But you know what but for me, you know, I'm still learning, you know, it's fishing for salmon You win some you lose some but if you do catch that one man, it's ecstatic. It's a strong fish now going on to Stripers in the fall for us. It sucked as well. You know, we didn't catch that many stripers uh, We didn't do that. Uh, we didn't do as well However, when it did get to later fall I did catch the first time by breaking my record not just catching one, but catching several. In three trips, we caught 16 sturgeon, all right? Now, for the sturgeon guys, that's nothing. For, for us guys, it's been nine years. We finally learned how to catch sturgeon. And I wanna thank Johnny Grayatone, I wanna thank Armando Salinas, and everybody who's been messaging me and giving me tips. And it's bay fishing. I really don't bay fish at all, but man, you know what we had a blast i've never caught a fish this big this strong before and it took me for a ride you know what it gets you going man these fish are strong it's one of the largest freshwater fish out there and it's the strongest fish i will say that you know what that's tug my at the end of the line i mean scientists have said these fish have been around since the dinosaur years all right i'm talking about millions and millions of years ago and the white sturgeon and the sturgeon breed family and uh, the sturgeon family has been around and that long so it was great you know i wasn't just you know we weren't just out there cats and lures right you have to definitely use bait and we use gold shrimp eel salmon roe for different rods that we had out there and you know we had a blast my buddies you know we built a lot of good memories and you know what now as i'm older now i don't get to go out like i used to when i was younger so you know what this was a great moment for me and my friends to build more memories and it was great man you know what i loved it we were we we had to work as a team all right this fish was not easy to catch um it was a very strong fish and um by the time you're done you're shaking your adrenaline's pumping man and I, as you can see one of my videos i was just strict shaking after that Whew. It gets you going, right? I got some exciting news for you guys in my next video. Before, I was by myself, but now I'm not alone. Now, I wanna catch you guys on, you know what? So you have to watch the next video. We are gonna end the video real soon. Just remember, comment below, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment below what you are grateful in 2020. I'm gonna be giving in the individual hat, shirt, decals, lures, a whole bunch of packages. Much love, I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Bye.